One of the interesting things about cell references is that when we come into Excel, say for example, I just type in 75 over here at I6. Well, now that I've typed I, uh, now that I've put 75 in I6, if I come over here to J7, I'm able to reference that by going equals I6, and you can see it highlights it. Now, that's all nice and good, but what if we want to kind of add a little bit more uh, sort of flexibility with that? Sure, we can put in the column and the number for the row, but one of the things that we can also actually do is we can actually give these things names. We can actually say instead of F13, I want to give this a name. Now one of the ways I can do that is I can actually come up here to what we call the name box. Now inside this name box, you notice how it says F13. If I come in here and I actually change it, I can actually come in here and type in something like season fee. Now what happens over here? Now all of a sudden instead of this being referred to by just F13, I can still come in here and I can still type in F13. Not the end of the world. But I'm actually able to now do equals season fee. And notice I even have that kind of popping up here. Season fee. Oh. Season fee. And as soon as I hit enter, guess what? So what I've done is I've actually given a name to my cell, which is pretty interesting because now I can, as you can see, make cell references to whatever I create. Pretty nice. But what if we want to do a little bit more uh, intricate work? Say for example, I want to take every single one of these cells over here, and I want to give them the name that is right beside them. So whatever, uh, so Sandy, I want to have B4 uh, be a player name. I want to have uh, B8 equal early registration. I want uh, B9 equal parent. I want to be able to name these different things. Sure, I can come in here and I can come up each time and do registration date player name. Yeah, I can do this over and over and over again. But I'm lazy. I like to do things once and not have to do them again. So one of the things we can do is we can actually click, hold, and highlight all of these cells. Now inside of my formulas tab, one of the sections you're going to notice is we have this defined names section. And one of the options is to create from selection. If I create from selection, what happens is I get a pop-up box that appears. Create names from values in the blank. So what it's asking is where do I want to create the names from? In my case, I actually only want to create names from the left column. Now, when I hit OK, each one of these, as you can see from over here, I'll even kind of expand that out, you can see suddenly B3 is registration date, B4 is player name, B5 is age group, B6 is shirt size. I now have named every single one of these things. Interesting. Another thing that we can do is we can actually come in here to the name manager. Say for example I don't want every single one of these to have uh, a registered name. Why not? I can come into name manager and that's actually going to show me every single one of my named sections. So say for example that season fee we created. Maybe I don't want that one there. What I can do is I can actually come in here and either edit it, change where it's from, give it a comment, or I can delete it. Are you sure you want to delete this? Yes, I am. 